of the shale revolution, Continental Resources founder and executive chairman, Harold Hamm. Harold, I've got your book right here. Everybody should read it, Game Changer. And you write in it that energy poverty to you is personal, but also energy prosperity is American prosperity. And that's personal. Tell us what's at stake here. Well, <clears throat> certainly a lot is lots at stake with this election. We're all aware of that. We had a president basically that said he's going to shut down all fossil fuel production, and we know how that turned out. It's not uh, good for America. It's not good for consuming public. It's not good for anyone. And and certainly. Uh, we, we've got the vice president that would follow right along in his footsteps. So he started out canceling uh, all fe production on federal lands, per uh, permitting uh, uh, new wells on federal lands, and uh, just followed straight through to try to destroy us. And that didn't get done, but <laughs> it is a threat to national security. It's a threat to energy independence, everything that we started 30 years ago. Now they want to, they want to take credit. They want to take credit for the production we have to, today, but basically they had nothing to do with that. That started with one thing, and that was horizontal drilling, as it stated in my book that you have there, and uh, what's taking place as a result of that. You know, Harold. Uh, again, oil and gas. Dagan and I both agree in, in you that it's important just for America's way of life. We can't live off of these in air quotes, renewable energies. If you shut down American oil and gas, we're going to be reliant on uh, a lot of countries that don't like us very much for their oil and gas. Uh, but I'm curious, in your industry, have, has your industry started to play, has oil and gas started to play in this election, not just for the industry, but for America itself, given to one candidate or the other, to make sure you can secure your future uh, in, uh, in, in, in your industry? Well, certainly, uh, everybody had to get involved. Uh, <clears throat> we can't uh, afford to sit on the sidelines. And yes, uh, the industry has come forward and, uh, and helped. We've got a lot at stake, and our industry realized that more than anybody else. You, you <clears throat> mentioned that this administration is trying to take credit for the rise in oil production just in the last three and a half years. So Kamala Harris and a bunch of Democrats, I've heard a bunch of Democrats say this, trying to pull a fast one on voters when it comes to where she and they stand on American energy. If you've been paying attention over the last almost four years, she's all in on this green energy boondoggle and is trying to take credit for fossil fuel production. Listen to this, Harold. I am proud that as vice president over the last four years, we have invested a trillion dollars in a clean energy economy while we have also increased domestic gas production to historic levels. They talk about oil production going up, but what have they done to your industry to try and hamper it and put the hammer down on it? Well, everything they could think of. <laughs> they could have done everything from you know, taking all federal lands off the table, which historically uh, produced about 35 percent of the energy. So, you know, that's 35 percent of the potential out there. So it's, uh, it's uh, uh, amazing that they've done every single thing that they could to, sh to shut down what we do. They used every agency, uh, stopping pipelines, uh, you name it. Uh, you know, the stuff that was used to be, you know, just the way it was done. And today, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an act of Congress. It takes an act of Congress to get a pipeline uh, gathering system put in. You, know, you mentioned the Congress. The House Oversight Republicans, they've now accused the Biden-Harris administration of hiding a study on the impacts of LNG exports. And so the Biden-Harris administration has tried to shut down the expansion of our, for our ability to export more uh, LNG to uh, places around the world that need it, especially like our ally, allies in Europe. We saw what happens uh, when, when Russia shuts down the, the, you know, their, uh, their fuel source, uh, their LNG, to, uh, uh, to Europe. I mean, people almost freeze to death. America, America covered for them. Talk to us about the impact of our ability to, 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 to redistribute around the world our excess uh, uh, natural gas 
and help other countries that don't have what we have. Well, I'm glad you brought up that study. Uh, you know, it, it, it was unfortunate what happened to, to Europe with the weaponization of the natural gas uh, supply by Russia. But if it hadn't been for our LNG exports here in the U.S., that Europe would have been very cold. Yeah. One tanker full of LNG will heat a million homes for a month. And we, we one, one company, Chenier, shipped over 800 of those shipments. So you can imagine what would have happened, the disaster that would have happened to Europe if it hadn't been for our clean burning LNG. Well, that's a de facto ban that on permitting new terminals that the Biden administration put in. And it looks like the Department of Energy hid that study. That they said that they needed to pause on new permitting to study something that had already been studied, Harold. Final word on just where we stand in this election. I know that you're a supporter of President Trump. Are you happy with the direction of things? I, I am. He's got tremendous momentum. The more she talks, the less people, uh, you know, think that she could lead. Uh, they, they know better. So we just need to keep her talking. And, uh, uh, the, the, you know, President Trump's got a, a tremendous amount of momentum going, as he should, should have today. Because he's, he's a great leader. He's got great policy. And he'll do a wonderful job. So uh, I, we feel good about it. Mm. Harold Ham, always great to see you. And by the way, I know America is grateful for your innovation that revolutionized uh, the oil and gas industry that made us, uh, you know, such a powerhouse in this space. Thank you for joining us on the show and sharing your wisdom. We're grateful. It's always good to be with you. Thank you so much for having me. Good to see you, Harold. Bye-bye. And energy oh. 